Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Free daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. So we got a. Uh... We got some bad news. Yeah. But unexpected twist to our day, which you will have seen in the title of this video. So we'll give you details after we eat, but you guys know when we get bad news, especially when it's related to our fertility clinic, we go out and get food. So we're trying a new place. We're not doing Market on South. We're doing the Dandelion Community Cafe. Look at this cool wall behind us. It says, it's literally an old house. Yeah. It says never go up. So did we say this is all plant-based? Mm -hmm. Seed bank? What is a seed bank? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it's just like a library. I love those. But we're literally right by Lazy Moon, right off Mills in this like house in this place that we've been eyeing the go-to for a long time. Actually, this was the first place that Jill suggested we go. And now we're finally going and we're going to eat our emotions. Here's a look at the menu. Looking pretty delicious. Ooh. And then some baked goods, kind of like Mark Van South. Here we just ordered, but literally, it literally is an old house with like rooms back there converted. And it's just like the bathroom, just a design on yeah, and they're like selling local art. Super cool. Look at it. This is a cool half door. I got this Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA. And this is a berry lemonade. And we got a bunch of good food. And we're getting banana bread on the way out to go. All right, we got our food. Here's Sarah. She got the Tater Swift. Yeah, it's got like potato salad, chips, all kinds of sauces, and yummy pickles, and arugula, and Cucumbers. Deliciousness. We got a falafel appetizer here, falafel wraps that we're gonna make. And I got a eggplant Reuben. So it looks good, smells good. And we're getting banana bread for dessert. What you got in there? A lot of dessert. A lot of dessert? Oh gosh. Oh my. So two banana breads, Delicious. one each. And these are Anzac cookies. Double chocolate with cinnamon and oatmeal coconut. Fancy pants. So outside the front door, look at that cute door. You got all these cool newspapers, magazines, the little library, book exchange, and this little outdoor eatery. Super cute, super great. What do you think, sir? Delish. This one felt like the healthiest. It did. It really like less greasy, less like there were and no fake like stuff really. Good. Yeah, it was just like really good. And what is this? Upcoming events. This is like a fun little garden out here. Yeah. It's pesticide free, it says. Oh. Or right, should we go home Ooh, and see Eve and explain on. ourselves? Yeah. I like that Mills 50. All right, today's vlog is not going to be a long one. No. We spent the rest of the evening. At home, actually working on it and getting to relax or breathe, <laughs> breathe or wallow in our sadness. But yeah. but we'll feel better now that it's like one of those things where it's like you would have felt worse if it didn't do it. Um, okay, so as simple as it is, I was on the phone today with my clinic. Good news, I can still do a transfer with my block tube. Bad news, I mentioned that we were going to the Bahamas and. Um, they hung up the phone. They're like, "Have fun." Well, like they knew about um, they knew about the cruise. Like, like uh -uh. we talked about it before in front of them. Like, oh. mm -mm. Okay. Regardless, they called back like ten minutes later, being like, "Hey, if you go on the cruise because of the dangers of the Zika virus, you will not be able to do a transfer for twelve weeks after you get back." And I was just like, "I don't want to cancel the cruise." And I don't want to wait that long. Um, basically, because it's the clinics basically liable for that sort of That's thing. That's their discussion. Um, basically, my nurse, every question I had, she said we just cannot consciously do a transfer knowing the risks. Um, there hasn't <laughs> been a case of Zika in over a year there. And the CDC classifies it as the same risk as the United States or a lot of other places, but because their database of medical history isn't as like 
reliable, reliable that, that, as they would like, that it's the same clearance, but they advise that people who are pregnant or are trying to get pregnant take the advice of their primary care physicians. And ours is not taking the risk, saying right. you'd have to wait the 12 weeks for Sarah to test negative for Zika. And because of the like trajectory of our, our cycles and everything, that it would be 12 weeks to test, but that would be in the middle of that cycle. Yeah. So then we wouldn't even be able to get the transfer until middle of the end of May. Yes. And we have to take... I mean, like, I know a lot of, some of you may think, like, oh, it's just 12 weeks, or, but, like, it's three to four months, that's a long time, we've already been waiting, we've already been waiting, we've already been waiting, <laughs> but also, like, that affects, then, our medical study that we're involved in, yeah. that cuts pretty much the rest of the time we have for, to get the medical benefits out of that study in more than half. Yeah. The good thing is we have the insurance. Yeah, we did buy the travel insurance. The trip for the cruise, um, which we did... We, we booked this cruise after our first failed transfer as kind of a pick-me-up. It turned um, into a, from a pick-me-up after a failed transfer to a... Celebratory vacation for being moon. pregnant. Um, then when it wasn't that, we were still like, okay, this is really sad that we have to go on this cruise and not be in the position we thought we were. But we really needed the relaxation. We mm -hmm. thought, great, this would be perfect Without, before transfer. all the trips to Chicago and how crazy our works have been, and how crazy our emotions have been. We like, like, really needed this. We need this first actual relaxing vacation that we haven't had in literally over six, seven years. Yeah. We are thankful that I said something. First, I was kicking myself, like, why didn't I say anything? I know that had we gotten back and been tan and had been so relaxed. And we, look, we love our medical staff, so we talk to them about everything. Yeah. We know that we would have brought this up upon our return. And they would have had to say the same thing then. So we would rather them know yeah. now, be able to cancel our cruise, have that money or credit or whatever we're gonna get to potentially do another cruise. Yeah, worst case, we'll get a 75% 75, 75 of what we spent we'll get on a credit towards another Disney cruise or best case, the insurance will be qualified and we will get 100% of what we spent back. Either way, we're not going anywhere next week. A lot no. of our, the friends and family that we told today, some of them were like, we'll just go somewhere relaxing next week, you deserve it. But it's like, I don't get paternity leave. I only have limited PTO. If we end up going on a cruise later this year, I need that PTO. If we change it to a different vacation later this year, I need it. Or if all else, I'll need it for paternity leave. So like, yeah. I wish we could just go burn it and I still not go to work all next week. Yeah, but just like stay home or something. I'm gonna have to um, know. So, that is unfortunately what has to happen. I did ask a question today over email that I'm waiting for a reply for, um, and that is, can I go on the cruise and not leave the ship? We have very little belief that they're going to say yes because I just came up with this. They've been so adamant. Oh, my, my arm is getting tired. They was they were so adamant on the no, on the no, on the no. And theoretically, a lot logically, I would say that's going to be a no because even if you get don't get off the boat, if you go on the deck of the boat, you're still exposing yourselves to mosquitoes that could be carrying Zika. Yeah. Even though CDC says there hasn't been an infection in all of 2019, it is what it we is. get it. So it's I asked. Not our, our I just hands. asked. Yeah. Another question was: Is there a vaccine? There's, there's not. not there's clinical cl clinical trials for it, but nothing. Um, but nothing so far. I'm trying to think if there was any other questions that we have had. I don't know. If you have any questions, put it in the comments and we'll right? answer. Um, you did not expect this, and um, unfortunately, that's we're just... happy we figured it out before the cruise. Yeah. I wish we would have figured it out we like still do the transfer. a month ago, because then we could have figured out a different vacation for this week. Yeah. Um, but but I got full clearance to do a transfer. Yeah. So um, we should be done in the next like three weeks, we think? Yeah, if um, if my doctor said if I felt uncomfortable that he would unblock it before a transfer, but he's fully um, supportive. supportive of moving forward and we trust that. I mean, he also like knows my full medical history. That's not like a blanket yes everybody to everybody. Different. Um, however, in the future, if we want to look more into it, we can. So we're not worried about the blockage, but the cruise is a bigger, um, yeah. Bigger Let's do the now. message and we'll sign off. But and the sad part is, guys, is like, I mean, we 
can't rebook it. Like we'll probably we, we'll probably go on another vacation or just use that PTO for paternity leave later. But like, if we want to do another vacation this year, another cruise is pretty much out of the books because there's not going to be a cruise between now and Sarah being out of. I mean, pregnancy potentially range. there would be like the window between like us graduating from our clinic and us taking our own steps to going because they probably wouldn't suggest we could go if I was pregnant, but then you can't- Well, if there was a Caribbean or somewhere else, that right. was clear. But you can't go on a Disney cruise if you're more than six months pregnant. That's what I'm trying to say. So like we have like a three month window. And that's like us being successful transfer, successful 12 week mark and safety and, and everything. And also- And also- Like the claim going the through. The claim going course. through. So it's like- <sighs> Just gotta. Let's do them. So this is nice. Go by day by day, I guess. Yeah. What's the date? The sixth. Today's the sixth. The message is by Ann Landers. Let this coming year be better than all your others. Vow to do some of the things you have always wanted to do, but could not find the time. Call up a forgotten friend. Drop an old grudge. Replace it with some pleasant memories. Vow not to make a vow not to make a promise you do not think you can keep. Walk tall and smile more. You will look ten years younger. Do not be afraid to say I love you. Say it again. They are the sweetest words in the world. I dig it. It was a long one, but I dig it. So, that's, get that's ready at least for Dopey still happening. Cast away key challenge. Not getting eight medals. I'll get, still, getting, still get my six. six. Still gonna run an awesome but Dopey. That, that's another part. It's just like, <laughs> what? That, I know that, that challenge only happens on this cruise once a year. Yeah. But there's other years. More so. years to come. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.